Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Maxim. Today we will continue working on Piatti's cello method. The theme of our lesson is exercises on separate bowings. We will work on detaché, that is the bow stroke on the string, and we'll start learning spiccato, when bow has to bounce off the string. It will be very useful to play detaché at the, exactly the same point as we will be playing spiccato. To find this point, you just need to find the balance point of your bow. My bow has it right here. You can actually just check it this way. And when you see that your bow is in a balance, that means you're holding it in correct spot. So, uh, we will use very little bow for detaché. And make sure you put the bow right at that balance spot and use little bow for each bow stroke. flexible way. Your wrist has to be relaxed. Also make sure that every time you go from one string to another you turn the bow. That is the position of the bow for each string is slightly different. From C string to G string to D string to A string. If you forget to turn the bow you will notice that your bow will be sliding up and down along the string. You should try to avoid it at any cost. It seems to be very little problem when you play in slow tempo, but once you start playing faster, it will make it impossible to play with any decent sound. Learning spiccato takes a while. It's highly unlikely that you will see gradual improvements in getting this bow stroke. What usually happens is that you spend a lot of time with daily practice playing detaché, improving the sound quality, making sure your wrist is relaxed. And then one day you start playing a little bit faster and all of a sudden, your bow will take off the string, will start bouncing exactly the way you want. I will play each exercise in three different tempi. At tempo 40, you will play it with detaché on the string. At tempo 60, you might start noticing that bow wants to take off the string, even so slightly. And by the time you reach tempo 80, you'll have no other choice than to play spiccato. It reminds me a little bit of airplane, because it has to reach certain speed to take off. So once you reach that speed, you will be able to fly.
I hope we learned something new today. Keep practicing and see you soon.